Carol, I heard you were in Beijing for the Olympics? Yeah, I was there for a whole month. I competed in 200 and 400. What did you compete in? 200 meter and 400 meter. Oh my god. And I'm training right now for the World Championships in Berlin this August. So watch us. Watch oh, us. we'll watch you. <laughs> Wait, you gotta have great legs then. Uh huh, look at that. I'm tan now. I'm gonna train it. I'm, I'm leaving the Cuba on Monday. So. Are you really? Yeah, for a trip. Yeah. I'll be there. Yeah. Yeah. 29 to the 6th. What's, the tough, what's hard about training when you're on the road? Um, I'll probably say dealing with the different climates and dealing with the different, um, like the air quality. Like right. China, the air quality was hard. Does that really affect you that much? It really, yeah, it was bad. It was bad. They say LA is bad with the smog, but China yeah. was like terrible. So I mean, mainly just dealing with like the air quality and the, the climate. Like sometimes it's really humid. Here it gets dry. Right. But, like in the Caribbean it's really humid and other places it's like really like sometimes it's really cold. So just dealing with the, the climate because it's an outdoor sport. Mm. So. How about the challenge with diet because food and water being my diet is kind of bad <laughs> it's not it's not where it's supposed to be but it's pretty good i mean i have a really really good nutritionist his name is wayne and he's um helped me all out with just being able i have a calcium deficiency so he helps me a lot with taking a lot of vitamins and my diet usually consists of like meat and vegetables i really try to cut back on carbs and i don't drink any soda or alcohol so oh really just like ju i do a lot of cranberry juice water um, apple juice, grape juice, and I try to like stay away from just carbs. Oh, really? Yeah. I eat it, but I don't just go overboard. What advice would you give to? I know you're like <laughs> you're out here for the BG Awards, <laughs> the giftings, but you're out here having fun, and I grab you, <laughs> give you questions. What advice would you have for runners that for either a novice or somebody that's more advanced on um, what to do to get more out of their their running? Um, I would just say, um, as far as like just being able to focus, I would say that's the biggest thing for like a person who's not really serious. Just being able to like get through it because a lot of people want to quit when they first start running because it's tiring and most people don't like running. They kind of look at it as like running game running, you know. But it's kind of like one of those things where you just have to like if you want to do your stay focused, stay determined, and that's the main thing. Just being determined, stay focused, whether it's you're professional, whether you're not professional, just being able to do it and know that you're wanting to do it, just staying hungry for it. Wow. Because I mean, like I have a lot of friends who just work out with me and they want to quit in the middle of the workout. I'm just like, you oh, got it. Like, like, you're an Olympian and blah, blah, blah. But still, like, you, I mean, come on now. Like, you want to stay healthy. You want to be, you know, in shape. Just get through the workout. Mm. Sounds like good advice. Yeah. Well, anyway, thank you so much. I'm going to let you go back to the party. <laughs> thank, okay. You. Okay. thank you. Okay, follow me on twitter.com slash imzrod. Perfect. Thank you.